first of all. My body is my business. That's how I make a living. I make a living on educating other people on how to stay healthy, no matter what weight you're in, what no matter what class you're in. I have diabetes, high blood pressure, I'm overweight. I have a lot of issues, yet I'm still dealing with this in a natural way. My numbers are as if I don't have diabetes. It's like I don't have diabetes. You know, I get 120 with no insulin, with no medication, which is a huge blessing. It's because I know how to do this. I've been doing this for over 15 years. Over 15 years. So as soon as I got the diagnosis of diabetes and PCOS... I got on it. I went in it like swimwear. That's what I did. I went in my kitchen. I literally threw out all of my processed foods. All of my processed foods. I threw them out. All of my bread, I threw it out. I literally starved myself of carbs for three months. My first numbers of diabetes was 600. 600, you're supposed to be on the floor dead or in a coma. God said, no, baby, you're not going to be in a coma. You're going to just be up written with all the diseases I had, I had lesions all over my body, I had all kinds of stuff going on, and yet I was still going, I was 22 years old, um, but I healed my body, I did not take medicine, I took it for one or two days, I didn't like it, I said there has to be another way to do this, so I did, um, I lost a lot of weight, I um, threw out everything, I started doing herbs, you saw me begin this video with garlic. A lot of people ask me, how do you keep your skin so clean? Because that's one thing when you have endometriosis and PCOS and things like that, your skin looks horrible. Well, my skin doesn't. You know what I mean? It looks pretty good, right? Well, I work hard on it. I sweat. I do garlic. I circulate. Um, I, I try my best to, to control my, my, um, my stress. Um, I do all of that. I drink a lot of water. Water is key. You feel me? Water is key, guys. So that's what I do. So when I got that diagnosis of diabetes, type 2 to be exact, I started to basically get in my kitchen, and I threw out all my processed foods. I stopped drinking sodas. I stopped eating candy. I stopped eating beef and pork. Um, I That's what I did. You know, I'm going to stop the show for a minute and see what's going on. Are you guys fussing and arguing in here? Please don't do that. I don't I don't like that. I need all the viewers I want. That's why I'm not discontinuing people's memberships. Okay? But please don't argue in here. That is a that is a prime reason why you guys have a lot of problems in your body because we have so much pent up anger. When you have pent up energy, it is usually going to give you're going to give it to negative forces. I am talking from experience. Okay? So when things are negative around you, you must starve it. So it's just like if you look at the beginning of this video, you notice that I was like, don't call me girl. That was true. That is something that is very personal. I think I heard Oprah um, talk about this, about the word boy. And our men, black men, were called boys. And, you know, we never thought about women and how we were called back in that day. We were called girls and, and we were called the H word and the B word. And we were, we were, we were so disrespected. So I, words have life, even though they say sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's anti-biblical. Words have life. So when you hear those type of words, unless you know the origin, you really don't understand the anger that I had. However, I had to not feed that energy anymore, and it died. So you see nobody's really talking about it. It's gone. The numbers went down, and we can have a good conversation. So you guys, please do not fuss in here. Don't, don't do that. This is about health and, 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 and happiness, and that's what I want to portray on here. Also, you have to have respect. So the way I act is so I can have respect on my show so you guys can get the the gist of what I'm talking about because the comments are just like the young people say they're lit right my comments are lit and you know it is what it is but um yeah guys let's 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 keep it let's keep it to what it is okay so yeah that's what I did I changed my diet I changed my lifestyle I started exercising you, you know I, I see you Mabaki I see you I'm gonna talk about that again and um, that's what I did. And they say you can't get rid of diabetes. You can get rid of the symptoms. So what are the symptoms of diabetes? Um, weight gain. Um, uh, let me see. You're urinating a lot. Um, dry mouth. 
um, infections, you can get rid of the symptoms. Diabetes will always be there. But I get numbers like I'm not a diabetic. So that's what we're talking about, right? Right. So, yeah, that's what I did. And I incorporated some herbs in my diet. Yes, I did. I incorporate garlic, cinnamon, turmeric. Um, I do natural teas. No, I, deca I cut out, at one time, I cut chocolate out of my life completely. Because, basically, I would crave chocolate all the time. Oh, guys, tap the screen so you can follow me on my YouTube. Tap the screen so you can subscribe. Because I'm going to be doing a video on this on YouTube. So, guys, please subscribe to my channel. But, yeah, um, I used to crave chocolate all the time. And I read up the reason why you crave chocolate is because you're lacking a vitamin. And I talk about that on my channel, you know, what vitamin that is. Um, so once you get that vitamin back in your system, you won't be craving chocolate. Chocolate is not good for you in high doses, especially the sugar and how it's prepared. So it's not the actual chocolate, because you're going you're gonna to get mixed reviews when you look this up. Is chocolate good? It's good for you, but you have to get the dark chocolate. You have to get the organic, close to darn near not processed chocolate for it to be good. Now, all the processed chocolates out there, we won't be mentioning um, they're not the best. And those are the chocolates I would eat every month when I would have a cycle. Now, somebody asks about heavy bleeding. Heavy bleeding is a sign of endometriosis. It is a sign that something is not going well. So you want to rectify it through your diet. That's number one. A lot of people may say you need surgery and you may need this. People are getting surgery on and not necessarily have to because of their diet. You know, I don't eat a lot of meat. I don't eat a lot of dairy. Dairy is not good for someone with endometriosis and, 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 um, and endometriosis and PCOS. That is the number one thing you should cut out. Now, you shouldn't cut it out completely. That is a huge mistake that I made. I cut out dairy in 2009. I cut out potatoes in 2014. I cut out meat back in 2003. I cut out all of these, these foods, and I almost became vegan. And when you're vegan, unfortunately, you're lacking in a lot of vitamins, and you'll end up having heart issues in the long run if your body is not being well nurtured. So I'm not telling anybody to stop anything. All I'm saying is that you should... You should rectify your diet and do things moderately. So I do, I, I, I eat dairy moderately. I might eat it once or twice a week. You, you feel me? That's what I do. I don't, I used to eat it every day and I used to eat it at night. So it's a day and time in which you should eat dairy. Like in your 30 day cycles and your 28 day cycles, a woman should have a diet according to her cycle. So when you are menstruating, you should have more iron. You should have more magnesium. You should have more, um, what is it? Um, what's that thing that potatoes have? Potassium. You should have a lot of that because you're actually losing nutrients. You're losing so much, you have to place back into your body. So, yeah, guys, make sure you tap the screen. Guys, uh, let me know if anybody's following, babe. Okay. Tap the screen to subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Please do that. Because I'm going to do a lot of informational videos over there, okay? Um, if you want to know more about fibroids and know more about PCOS, if you want to know more about endometriosis and how to lose weight, losing weight is relative. I'm still overweight, but I've lost so much. So don't get, you know, don't get um, discouraged if you're still overweight, but yet you're losing weight. That's good because people with PCOS usually don't lose weight. You know, and, um, yeah, so I've lost a lot of weight. I'm proud to say it, and I've done it because I've, I've changed my way of life, okay? So, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm probably going to do a live on there as well, okay? But you want to subscribe over there so you can see my show. I'm going to give all the secrets away. <laughs> I'm going to give all the secrets that I didn't give on this show. I'm going to go ahead and hit the live button over there once I wash my hands. But yes, you know, please, you know, understand that you do not have to hurry up and get surgered on because you have these problems. You just have to do what I'm doing, which is make your body a business. My body is my business. I'm not saying make money. I'm saying my body is my business. My health is my business. So that's what I'm telling you guys to do the same thing. Make your body your business and you'll be able to create a new environment because you know what? Your body's always changing. The way my body is now was not like this 10 years ago.
So every day we wake up, we're changing, we're healing, or we're doing something to make our bodies worse. Okay? So which one are you going to serve today? Are you going to serve getting better or are you going to serve getting worse? Yes, please go over and subscribe because I'm going to go ahead and start the show in about 10 minutes. So go ahead and subscribe. Come on over there with your, your, your questions um, and concerns. I'm going to have a little health form. For my ladies, for my subscribers, for people who really want to get better, I'm going to go ahead and, and give you the... Yeah, literally and figuratively. Tap the screen to subscribe, guys. Tap the screen to subscribe, please. Can y'all see me? Can you see me? Let me know. Put up a 77 if you can see and hear me. Are you on the internet? I agree with you. I, too, lose weight. I start out 320 and 270. Thank you. Yeah. I just, people think that, you know, unfortunately, on TV and things like that, they always show you the person who's my weight and the person who's 120 pounds. And that is just not um, realistic. You have people who are 400 pounds and now with 300 pounds, 300 pounds and now with 280. That's awesome. Every pound, especially when you have endometriosis and all of that and PCOS, you know it's hard as heck to lose weight. So every pound you lose is a blessing. So that's what I like to encourage you guys, that you may still be technically overweight, but just losing five pounds will help your diabetes. It'll help your high blood pressure. I used to get real high blood pressure. I mean, to the point where my nose would bleed. Like I would wake up and, and, and nosebleeds. And I was, I've been getting nosebleeds since I was 10 years old. And I was taught that that was normal. And then I looked it up and said, no, it's not. And one of the last things went before my grandmother passed. She had a very bad nosebleed and she had a stroke. So when you have nosebleeds, it's not good. Okay? So that's, that's the situation. So nosebleeds is a, um, a sign that you have high blood pressure. And basically the nosebleed is to release pressure so you don't have a stroke. So nosebleeds is a big sign of high blood pressure. And it's children. Children have high blood pressure. Toddlers have high blood pressure. So that is a leading and a gateway disease to diabetes, to lupus, to PCOS, to endometriosis. To the women who are saying they're bleeding very heavy, your high blood pressure, your pressure is high. So when you, it doesn't necessarily mean you have fibroids. It doesn't even necessarily mean you have endometriosis. It could be because you have high blood pressure. Okay, so make sure you join me. I'm about to do a show over there in about 10, 15 minutes. Join my YouTube, subscribe, and get the bell so you can get notified. Thank you for watching.